So this is going to be a Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising weekly career tarot reading December 23rd to December uh, 29th 2019 and uh, if you do want guys to get in touch with me uh, for a personal reading or you want to check your uh, love tarot reading for the same week you can check the description down below where you're gonna find a link to my website and as well the link to the other video. And uh, with that being said, let's jump into the spread straight away. So the first card, which represents the topic of your career uh, for this week is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, energy surrounding the topic that is going to be uh, the Hierophant card. Fantastic. Uh, afterwards, we do have the challenges that you will have to stand against throughout the week. That is going to be the uh, Two of Cups. Followed by the third one, uh, by the fourth one, which stands for the blessings and the gifts that you can enjoy uh, throughout the week regarding career. That is going to be the Tower card. Followed by the fifth one, which stands for how others see you. No surprise here, we do have the uh, Emperor card. Afterwards, it is uh, what can help your long-term goals uh, or what you should do in order to uh, push forward your long-term goals here. That is going to be the Knight of Swords, followed by the other card, that uh, by the seventh card here, which uh, stand as what can hurt your long-term goals or what you should not do <coughs> in regards to those goals. That is going to be the Six of Cups. And the final one here for you, Gemini, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Four of Cups. So, um, topic and the energy surrounding the topic. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant card. Well, where do I even begin with, guys? Or begin from, excuse me. Now, those cards are pointing that you have proven yourself to be the business partner needed, to be the asset needed. In general, you have proved that you were worthy investment in one or another way. So this week, uh, the Ten of Pentacles here points to that, and not just only that you are gonna uh, enjoy certain dividends and assets, but as well, it does point that you are going to go out of certain dependency, all right? in a sense of that you are going to be entrusted with greater projects, with bigger things, with bigger goals, which additionally probably are going to supplement your, um, your salary, let's say, your position, and so on and so forth. So uh, you can expect career-wise here, Gemini, that this week you're going to find yourself in very warm, nice, and cozy place, cozy position which you can enjoy for a quite long time. Now, why? We do have the energy supporting it. That is the Hierophant. It's because you did the right thing. You did the things the right way. You, you basically um, completely, uh, how can I say it, fulfilled the expectations of your boss, of your supervisor, of your business partner, if not exceeded those uh, expectations. And right now, things are developing extremely naturally things are to develop into your career um you know in the traditional way the way of growing you do your part you grow right so that is what you can expect in regards to your career as a topic um uh, and in as a general team throughout uh this particular week. Now, the next card here uh, represents the challenges and that is going to be the Two of Cups. A very awkward. Now, this card may refer to a certain, uh, we all know what the Two of Cups means, right? So it may refer to a, a certain um, law of interest into your, in your career, right? Which is going to obstru obstruct moving forward in there. So you have to keep the relationship business relationships rather than emotional relationships, okay? Which may kind of like uh, put some of you in despondent position. I understand that you like the guy in the job or you like the girl in that same job. Well, this card points that that will only going to slow down if, uh, if not stop your career progress 
moving on forward. Now, additionally to that, uh, this card has a, a bit more practical meaning and it does points that, uh, how can I say it? Um, it will be challenging for you to make cooperation in general with one specific person and together to form something new. And it's kind of understandable because uh, right now you are walking out of dependency, right? Probably the supervision over you, it's uh, kind of like uh, abated and you want to, to take on the tasks from a personal standpoint, right? And right now, the last thing you need, it is someone else to basically mess around with your stuff. Uh, but the, the, two of, um, the two of cups points that the union that you can create can really help you to form and uh, establish something new as a private business, as a new project, you know, as a new position and so on and so forth. So do not, um, uh, you need to overcome the challenge of, um, um, it's not self-belief, but it's more like of the um, of the standpoint that alone you can achieve everything. No one does it by himself, really, or no one get way too far by itself. So that being said, allow people to take participation into your deeds if you find them useful in it. So the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. This is the Tao card. Wow. And uh, the gift from this card for you, it is the gift for of a um, ability to restructure, okay? To restructure and reassemble or rebuild, if you will, um, your career life in general and uh, your position as well okay so uh, in other words if you have if you don't like how the things are around you you have the blessing and the gift to change that to rebuild it to uh, shape it the way you want it to be and that is a, a very good car especially if you are a business owner all right that it, that week it is the week where you can clear um you know futile for example uh, uh, unemployees and um a, a few and to kind of like sever a futile contract or to re renegotiate those contracts and so on and so forth because um the gift ultimately from the tower card it is a, a gift of cleansing and nourishment so it, it is like cleaning you know your career path from unnecessary and uh, in generally very uh, stifling kind of enterprises, endeavors, and in generally plans. So the other card is going to point how other people sees you, and that is the emperor. And other people see you as a very reliable and very well-established individual, well-established asset. In other words, people see you as... Um, I don't know how to say it really, guys. It's it's like uh, the person that people see you as the person, the person capable to establish rule, to establish order, to uh, take on the um, the unspeakable challenges, if you will, or the unspeakable projects that no one else there to even think about, and sort them in such a fashion and order that is gonna make the uh, unpredictable ups and downs way too much easier to be bad, and um, in generally to push the things through. With the emperor, people are seeing you as a um, very competent very experienced and fully capable um, individual worker or a, a business partner or in generally, you know, a businessman or a business lady that uh, it is yet to develop, um, you know, it's to develop its empire, if you will, of moving forward. So the other card here, uh, it stands for what you should do in order to further your long-term goals. That is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords in uh, career, it's about taking on um, the difficult stuff right now, okay? Or addressing the difficult stuff and uh, showing tenacity and showing... Um, keen and analytical mind. It's like um, finding solutions, okay? 
Um, and uh, on the on the grand scheme of things, this car points that right now you need to make a decision what the, what direction your career is going to go forward at. And that decision needs to be taken um, in a synchrony in between your logic and your emotions as well. So you got to choose such a career path or such a career project moving forward that you are going to find it um, you know pleasant to work over and simultaneously is going to be something profitable and beneficial for you now the other card here represents the uh what you should not do or what can obstruct your goal and that is the six of cups and this is about you know enjoying your life in general it's it's like uh um, calling the day for the year or calling the day for, for the long-term goals. It's like saying, you know, oh, now it's, it's the end of the year celebration, so I'm going to think about my long-term goals uh, in the early 2020. No, you got to think for them right now in this very moment. You don't have, you should not drop off your guard, especially right now in this week where you're going to find yourself in that place, out of dependency, having the resources to do something about it. And uh, the last card represents about the guidance. Uh, this is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups here points that um, your um, abundance is coming to an end. Not because you're going to jeopardize it in any way, but it is because you are going to reach the, um, the full capacity of, uh, of the benefits that you have worked for. And therefore, you have to think of how you can uh, proceed forward, all right? You have to think of where to right now. And this is why it is going to be extremely important throughout the week to figure out your next move in regards to career, which the Knight of Swords uh, pointed to that this needs, this, needed, it, it, this needs to be a, a decision that is simultaneously consulted with your logic and with your emotions as well. Uh, basically, the Four of Cups here points that um, you are not going to be there forever and those benefits are not going to uh, fulfill you forever and therefore you always need to think of expansion. So that being said, Gemini, this was your career tower reading December 23rd to December 29th, uh, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you do want to check your love tower reading, please check the description down below where you're going to find my website for your private readings and as well the link for your love tower reading for this same week. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.